what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here since i'm on screen five again and uh, yeah we're gonna be jumping into spoilers so you don't want any spoilers or anything about what it has to do with the thumbnail the title of this video don't don't watch so jumping into sam carpenter's secret we know sam carpenter was the new sydney prescott s type character for the new film that we got she was full she was through and through everything that we thought jill was going to be in screen four but this character here actually stuck it through she was not some crazed killer by the end of it uh and the narrative actually was about her that became very clear when you had the film's opening title card for the first time ever not even be jumping to a shot of sydney it jumped directly to a shot of a different woman sam carpenter who again was portrayed by melissa barrera um so jumping into her secret we know that it had to do with the ghost face killers wanting to get her back to her hometown after she had been gone for many years as it relates to a secret that drove drove her into a very traumatic downward spiral she started doing drugs started having a little bit run-ins run with the laws we learned from judy hicks and their interaction and that secret ultimately we, that we learned was she is the daughter of billy loomis now just to address the the topic of well that doesn't make any sense that's just like roman it's it's not just like roman and the reason i guess you could argue this is much more easier to swallow and you know the, the other argument i guess i could throw out there the argument of well why didn't anyone talk about this daughter or this child in the past well for one thing again if you watch the movie you learn that the mother kept it a secret and it, i guess the other argument well how come no one close to her knew about it it's not that let's not even say that no one close to her knew about it let's just say that the mother made a conscious decision based off of what came out about billy loomis and then of course considering all the events of the past other sequels that we've gotten all of that is enough reason as to why we didn't know about sam carpenter's existence look at all the attention that sydney was getting sydney is was just the ex-girlfriend of billy loomis billy loomis killed her mother billy loomis framed this guy and got him involved in it cotton weary because of his affairs with marine and you know it's just all of that stuff that sydney was getting attention for she had all this unwanted press attention the book from gail weathers which spawned a movie franchise and just that opening in screen two alone and just the constant targeting of, of, of sydney prescott by ghostface killers alone as the mother of sam carpenter who again had had a relationship or a little fling with billy loomis hooked up with him i guess you know you see all that going on you're going to want to take some things back and probably have a lot of regrets you're not gonna go around bragging that hey you know i had a daughter with a mass mass murder or a serial killer that's not that's not what would happen so the idea of just i guess thinking in a way for the the idea of him having a child not to make sense just for the sake of fueling the argument that it doesn't make sense i mean you can go with that but again it doesn't make sense because you're not allowing it to there's a lot of stuff here that makes this possible such as the fact of again all the things that happened in the past four movies that's reasons why no one knew about this child the mother is come is in a position now where she has to process the fact that she has had a child with a mass murderer said mass murderers actions have been turned into a book turned into a film franchise you have a girl who was attached to the person that you were secretly involved with getting all this unwanted attention you don't just come out and then say hey you know i have the daughter i have the child of that mass murderer so then she can have all that unwanted press too like what type of life can that child have you're already in and in of itself as the mother feeling regretful about your actions and it's just like there's a lot of things to consider here as if you want to argue that why didn't anyone know about the child or th that doesn't make sense because we should have known about her in the past well obviously of course it wasn't even an idea in the past but it doesn't feel as shoehorned in as i guess roman bridger they let it come into come into the narrative very early on it acts as the marine prescott subplot and again there's just so much to consider here you have to consider the fact that all the other past four movies and all the things that came from Billy's actions in that original film, that would warrant any reasonably minded mother, I would say, or even individual parent, anyone to keep that a secret. Don't go around bragging about I have a child of a mass murderer. That's not how that works. Ultimately, what ended up happening with Sam was she found out and left town at a very young age at the age of 18 when she ultimately grew up after learning about this when she was only 13 from reading her mother's diaries she ended up going into her mother's room confronting her the actual father that she thought to be her father at the time overheard the argument he ended up leaving 
Tara, Sam, and the mother, Christina, which we did not see in the film. And that's how that family spiraled out of control. So the killers this time around, they found out from Christina, who was a drunk. I, I'm assuming this is coming from her processing how her family unraveled because of her past sins and, you know, hooking up with someone else's boyfriend who ended up being a mass killer. Kind of like karma in a way, I guess. Uh, we found out she's a she's a bit of a, I guess, alcoholic per se. And I guess one night at that bar that we saw the teens hooking up at or getting together at rather after school, they had a moment where or after visiting Tara in the hospital, rather, they had a moment, where, I guess, where Amber Amber was there. She overheard Sam and Tara's mom, I guess, come clean about Sam being Billy's daughter, just coming off of her one of her alcoholic rants, I would say, I guess. Amber overhears this. She's been in contact with this guy named Richie over on the Stab subreddit. They have similar ideas. They share that amongst themselves. The secret of that Billy has a daughter out there. They all had they all had this idea of wanting a true sequel. Richie goes down into Modesto, tracks down Sam, works with her for a couple of months. And then while they're doing that, of course, they're planning out this Woodsboro killing spree that's going to put Sam in a position to be framed. And ultimately, what these two freaky stab fanatics would get is a proper sequel that is living up to something that they feel would be effective enough to be a worthy sequel to the original film because they have all this all these moments richie in particular he makes a comment even when watching the clips that he thinks the series went off the rails after the fifth entry that's ultimately what they wanted to do they just wanted to have a proper stab sequel and what what, what better way to get that in their heads than to frame the daughter of billy loomis track her down lure her back to town who and hoping that Sidney Prescott would get lured back, which would only make it better in their minds if these real life events got turned into a movie because they were coming from a place where they felt that the Stab franchise was just lacking that sense of realness because the first three movies were all based off of real events and they thought that they needed to bring it back to its glory days. So that's ultimately what the killer's motivations were. That's what Sam Carpenter's secret was. I know a lot of people didn't like it. It was about as meta and as fresh since this, since Mickey's Motive and Scream 2, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'll have me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video